Pierre is a living legend in the world of mining leadership and corporate finance. He's, he's an, uh, uh, an expert and observer of the industry, and I think he's also been one of the big original thinkers. After graduation from the uh, University of Utah with my MBA, um, we uh, moved to San Francisco and um, my first uh, wife was offered a job at Bechtel in the nuclear department and uh, they were looking for someone in their M&M division, mining and metals. I thought I was only going to go into the uh, construction department of Bechtel, learn a lot about construction and then you know start my um, own firm later on. Uh, but then what happened is I started um, speculating in junior mining stock and that's where I got the bug. I mean, after that, there was no turning back. From there, I decided that um, it was time to uh, get into uh, either uh, the uh, investment world uh, as an analyst or portfolio manager, and uh, then I was uh, hired by uh, Butel Goodman. And that's where I met uh, Seymour, uh, who became my uh, lifelong uh, partner in business. We started Franco Nevada as a private company in 1982, uh, took it public in September 1983, um, hit on the concept of uh, royalties in 1985. And uh, I think it's the combination of um, uh, when he said black, I said white. When he said cold, I said hot. And um, we both had to agree on deals uh, we were able to, at the end of the day, make the right decisions. And I think that combination of both Seymour's uh, you know, conservatism with Pierre's optimism, we got the perfect marriage. And I think that's why it was that combination that made the success. And at the time, it was uh, you know, totally new and very few people thought that you could actually build a, you know, a company based on royalties. They thought like, ah, it's only 2% of the mine revenue or 3%. What can you do with that? And uh, as uh, luck would have it, our first royalty is probably the best deal that I have ever done in my whole life, never to be repeated. Uh, but we turned a, a $2 million investment into something today that has uh, a cash flowed over $800 million, and by the time it's finished, it'll be well over a billion. They just seem to have that golden touch. Luck seemed to be associated with everything they did. And it had been poked and, you know, drilled and by everybody and their mother and they never nobody ever found anything until we start drilling and sure enough I think it was like on the third drill hole we hit the mother load. Franco Nevada was sold to Newmont in 2001 for 3.2 billion dollars. In 2007 Pierre and a group of associates and investors bought it back for 1.2 billion dollars. And today the company is worth uh, eight a billion. Uh, so it's been a great ride. Pierre is vivacious, he's got a joie de vivre, he's fun loving, uh, he just sort of appreciates life. And, uh, and I think what makes him, uh, uh, with those personality traits, he's always optimistic. He sees the upside for all the opportunities out there. Uh, it didn't matter to me if I got paid or not, I, you know, because we had so much fun building a company, creating value for the shareholders. Uh, I think that that was reward in itself. In 1990, Pierre Lassonde wrote the book on gold investing. It sold 11,000 copies. Um, the, the key message was, uh, you know, how do you value uh, gold itself and how do you value uh, gold mining equities? Canada, you know, uh, wants to lead in, in mining. Well, we have to have the best mining schools in the world. Pierre has made many generous contributions to educational institutions. He has been an equally generous leader and active participant in the planning phase of the new school. At the University of Utah, Pierre established the Lausanne New Venture Development Center in honor of his late wife, Claudette McKay Lassonde, and the Lassonde Entrepreneurial Center. One of the reasons why I'm so proud is that last year, 
uh, we bested MIT, uh, the uh, school of all school, at their own game, and we came in number one in the United States for the most uh, number of public companies created from the intellectual properties developed at the university. The center has created 34 startup companies, attracting $50 million in funding. You know, I've, I've also involved in a number of, uh, you know, more junior company and like creating the next, you know, wave of uh, um, new companies uh, that I hope will become big success in the future.